two days ago I washed my hair today we are doing scalp care for a couple of months I've been using the Revere extreme hydration line and I've been absolutely loving it I really really like this hairline and I am almost done with all my products that I use from them. I'm almost out of their moisture rich hair and scalp oil so I'm just gonna add some grapeseed oil to that just to you know have more oil in there. I really like their applicator bottle. If I'm ever going to be mixing any oils together I'm probably this is the bottle I'm gonna use. Who else recycles their product jars? <laughs> So I, for sure, for sure, for sure, need more Revere products. I've also been trying their pre-wash, their shampoo and conditioner, and their deep conditioner. And I really like them. So I'm, like I said, almost out. And I would love to get more product from them. Yes, I've already started applying some oils to my scalp i'm really just gonna get in between the puff puffs there and also in the puff puff as well so i can reach all of my scalp mm. so i'm just massaging the oil into my scalp in between the puffs and also on the inside of the puffs there. I'm also going to be applying um, some grease to my edges and also my hair, my scalp as well. But I don't even know if I told you guys, but I am trying, well, I'm more focused on growing out my edges. Um, my edges is the shortest part of my hair and I want to see if I can grow it out. I want to figure out ways to maintain my length for my edges as well. So I'm just getting some black grease and just massaging it. To my scalp. I just recently took my mini twist down and I feel like having those extra long, and they were long, I feel like having those extra long mini twists in a sense taught me how to take care of my hair while it's in a protective style. Um, the do's and don'ts, like I feel like my big thing when it comes to protective style, the one big negative is tension hairstyles. Um, whether it be buns or different looks that cause tension on my edges and be pulling my edges out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. After seeing that pattern from my past protective styles where I added hair, this time I decided to do things a little different to be more intentional about my styling and how I'm styling those styles so where there's no tension on my edges. Yeah. I'm gonna get just the rest of that grease and then just warm it up in my hands and press my hair down. Hmm. I feel like there's so much that I've been learning the past couple of months with my hair and <laughs> it's so many like there's so many moments of, okay, maybe I should change that, or maybe I should do this differently, or maybe I should, you know, there's a lot of those happening now of me realizing different things. So that's pretty much, I'm done. I'm done with the scalp care. That's it. Put some oil, massage that in, put some grease on the edges, on the scalp, and done. And then the rest of that grease, I just like to, you know, Rub that in my hands because your girl got some pretty rough hands. I do. Your girl is handy. I be doing a lot with my hands. And yeah, I like to, you know, take the step to also show some care to my hands as well. So, yeah. Beautiful. 
And luckily for this hairstyle, I don't need to manipulate my edges in any kind of way. I'm just going to leave it be the way it is. Yes. Just let my hair do its thing. Just to kind of like set the style in place and set the, um, the oils and all that water. Just going to spray that on top. Like a mist. Mm-hmm. I feel like our hair thrives in like humidity and then in like 10 minutes I'm gonna take it down actually no I'm actually gonna leave my hair like this because I'm not going out today so I can just allow my hair to marinate in those oils ooh, and allow my scalp to be greased up and just leave it be if I'm moving around the house I can just have this on my head and I'll be fine So much bigger now. She's so much bigger now. Kiki. <laughs> you see how she's leaning on me? Oh. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Mm. 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 